All right, hey y'all, Siegel here, uh, back with another part of Silent Hill 3 against my better judgment. Hold on, I moved my mic, moving it to the correct place. Um, in the last part, we met Vincent, we ended up in the other world. Um, now we're just trying to burn a painting, I believe. This the room, yeah, this is the room. Um, so yeah, uh, I don't think I'll go, okay, that's just the other one. So, Vincent knew, knows about our father, who is Harry Mason, um, and he told us that uh, Claudia, the woman we met at the mall, is our mother. And so, uh, we'll uh, probably find out more about that as time goes on, but uh, definitely that's news to me. I mean, obviously I knew Harry was her dad, but I didn't know Claudia was her mother. Anyway, oh, there's something here. Find the Holy One. Killer? Oh, that's us. That's me. Who could have taken this photo? That's really creepy. Probably Douglas. <laughs> oh, okay, that's the one. Alright, so we want to go back to... Okay, wrong. Um, floor... No. Uh, okay, we want to go back to Floor 5. Yeah, I want to go back to floor five. Oh, there are dogs here now. Okay. Well, you're not invited to come to floor five with me. Sorry to say. Oh, this area is so fucking creepy. I do not like it. But it's also really cool. But I'm... As I've said many times before, I am a super bitch. So... I'm gonna- I'm gonna heal. Because I have a whole bunch of health drinks. And there's no reason for me to even entertain the- Get the fuck off me while I'm talking! Uh, there's no reason for me to even entertain the idea of dying or being close to it, so... When I have like an abundance of healing items. All right, let's see if we can finish this puzzle now. I I don't actually know if this is the solution to the puzzle, but yep, yes, it is. I probably should have saved before I did this. Before I do that, let me save again. I love how this puzzle took me like a really short amount of time compared to fucking finding the rope. Ah, oh, what the fuck, man. No, no, really, what the fuck? What are these papers? The priestess accepted the king's request and went to the village gates, but when she saw the monster, she tried to convince it with words instead of killing it. Shut up, you. I'm going to eat you up. The monster didn't listen to a word the priestess said. She kept trying to convince the monster to give up. It's wrong to eat people, you know. The monster grew very angry at this and attacked her, killing her with a single mighty blow. No beginning and no ending. I really didn't understand that. Probably just some pages torn out from the middle of a book. Sure, it has some meaning. And there goes those noises again. It's unlocked. What is this lead? What area is this? Oh, we're on the fourth floor now. Okay. Great. I'm go back. Oh, there's more of you. Okay. Okay. Okay, that was good. I didn't really, I went, like, I didn't jump. Like, I kind of had a feeling something was going to happen. 
but that was good. You know what? Fuck this katana. It's good for things that are fucking standing, but I ain't got time to waste. Where, where are my fucking weapons? Give, give me my fucking handgun. Please die. Get, no, 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 no. Get off of me. You get the stomps. You get the stomps. And you get the stomps, little fucking bitch. Alright. Give me my fucking am gun ammo back. Alright. Everyone's getting the fucking blicky now. Melee weapon melee combat in this game fucking sucks. But everybody's getting the blicky. Lock's broken. Lock is broken. It's unlocked. Whatever. Oh, this is the other side. Okay. Lock's broken. That's all this fucking game is. Lock broken simulator. I've used that joke before, but whatever. I got a silver coin. The lamp, the lamp's shining on some old silver coins I know I've seen before. I got one earlier, so I really shouldn't take any more. I mean, I'm no thief. I might act like one now and then, though. Um, silver coin. It's about the size of a quarter. I get the feeling it's really old. Yeah, well, probably need that for something. Just a plain old vending machine. This one is selling canned drinks. Come to think of it, I am kind of thirsty. I feel weird drinking anything sold in a place like this. Though. Well, I'm sure I need that. Something written on the wall. Thus one's life turns to riches. What was a bag of silver coins is now the number in a book. Yet faith hath no price. Ah, but do people know this? Do I need the coin for this machine? Oh. I figured that would have been the solution, considering there's something open there. Oh, it is. It is. It just is in the wrong fucking place. Just need to key in it. I got the life insurance key. Life insurance key. I bought this from a vending machine. It looks real enough. There's a tag on the key that says Elberton Life Insurance. And there was a door we came across that was locked. I don't remember which floor it was though. Uh... Oh, it's right there. It's on the first floor. I hear noises. I hear baby noises. I don't like it. Use a life insurance key. Be figuring out these puzzles. Don't touch me, please. What is this? I didn't get to read what she said originally, I'm sorry. The king and his people shed tears at the death of the kind priestess. God took pity upon them, and granting their wishes, healed the priestess. The priestess opened her eyes, and just as she had done every morning of her life, she went once more to the monster's lair. Fool, you wish to die again? 
No, this time it's your turn. The priestess had come to defeat the monster once and for all. As the priestess was very, very kind, she felt sad about this task, but it had to be done. Swords and spears won't work. Arrows and bullets will just bounce off. You can't kill me, the monster laughed. But the priestess used neither, uh, or neither sword nor spear. She chanted but a single spell. Tufu, Tufui? Ego Eris. Do you know what happened then? The monster let out a huge cry and then died and vanished. Thus the villagers were able to use the gates once more. Everyone lavished their gratitude upon the priestess and they all lived happily ever after. Too fooey. Fooey. Ego Eris. Weird writing. <gasps> what was that? I'm sure soon enough we'll find out. Well, the all monsters in this area are gone. I'm guessing we have to go to the monster that's on this floor. Uh, yeah, I guess we just have to go there. Oh, it's gone. Lovely. Okay, so this is the storybook. Once upon a time, there was a monster living at the gates of the village. It was scary uh, and a very bad monster. It would catch people and crunch them up with his big teeth. Villagers were afraid of the monster, and no one would dare approach the gates. Everyone was stuck inside the village. When the kings heard about this, he summoned his knights. The knights eagerly rode out to defeat the monster. Ha! Take that. Their swords slashed and- Did I already read this? I don't know. Um, the swords slashed and their spears flashed, but the monster wouldn't die. The monster tossed the knights into its mouth one by one, horses and all. What was the king to do? He fretted and fussed and paced the floor, but couldn't, could think of no solution. Soon after, the village priestess came to the castle. He was a very kind and good person. The king asked her to defeat the monster guarding the gates. First part. I'm sure I've read this before somewhere, but I feel like that's the first time I've ever read that ending. Oh well, whatever. It's no time for me to worry about that now. I just want to go get home already. Oh. Is that the end of the section? Did we finish it? Is that it? Okay. I guess that's just it. I guess we're just out of there. Cool. Probably should have saved, but whatever. This our apartment. I was totally expecting like a, oh, Daisy Villa, we're here. Okay, great. Is this? 102, that's it. Hold on before I go there. That is not my place. That's not my place. Eh, actually, I'm just gonna go in. The lack of music is unsettling. Wait. No, it is. It's 102. Am I crazy? Or does that say 103? No, it fucking says 102. Unless they all say 102. One oh three. This is the stairway. I don't need that. My apartment. My apartment is no number one oh two on the ground floor. You literally. What is this doing here? That's really. That really pisses me off. It's like having someone spit on your sacred place. Looking at that makes my head hurt. What does it mean? Okay. Well, we reached the safe point. That door said 102, so I don't... 
This is my place. Why should I leave the apartment? Oh, okay. I guess that one was 102, even though the door at the front said 102. It said 102. I'm not fucking crazy. Whatever. I'm home. Oh. Dad, I'm home. Listen, something really crazy is going on. I think we should... Dad? Dad? Unfortunately, Harry's dead. Alright, so this is the thing that killed Harry. Okay. Uh, I'm absolutely not a fan of it. Don't touch me. You know, I said I was saving the shotgun for bosses for the most part, so I'm just gonna fucking pull it out. No fucking katana. No fucking handgun. You are getting shotgun. Yeah! Oh, I could probably pull out my... Lock my fucking shot? That was actually kind of sick. Oh, you're just blocking my shots now. You are just blocking my shots now. Alright, you wanna block shots? We can- we can fucking katana duel. You wanna do it? You wanna go? Hey, don't- don't be a bitch. Don't run away. Alright, alright. What am I at health wise? Alright. I'll let him get like one more. Let 
One more. Because I think, I think you can go into red. Okay, Katana is not it. We're going back to the handgun because this nigga's running. Could you fucking not? Oh, you want to? We can. We're gonna strafe on your bitch ass. You can guard? Is that what that does? I'm just gonna heal. Just be safe. Reload faster! Fuck you, pulling out my shotgun again. Can I kick you? No. You done? Kick you! Can I kick you again? Alright, you're done. Douglas? How did you get in? I don't know what to say. I'm not asking you to say anything. Then don't say anything. I'm fine, so just get out of here and leave me alone already! Calm down. I just... Calm down? How am I supposed to do that? My father is dead! He's murdered! Get out! This is all your fault! If it weren't for you... I'm sorry. Then go! If it'll make you feel better, I will. He okay like this? What else can I do? There's no one here to give him a decent burial. <sighs> I'm sorry, Dad. What yeah. do you do now? We avenged him, though. I'm going to Silent Hill. What's in Silent Hill? I don't know. Do you think it's safe? Of course it isn't. I don't know what kind of hell is waiting for me there, but I've got no other choice. I don't care about God or paradise. If that's what she believes, then fine. But she won't get away with what she did. When I find her, I'll kill her myself. Revenge doesn't solve anything. Maybe not, but that's what I'm going to do. I love that. Like, I don't care. How you get there? None of your business. I'll give you a ride. I don't need your help. Yeah, but it's too far to walk. Besides, I'm partly responsible for this. Yes. Yes, you are. I'll bring the car around back. 
come by and we finish saying goodbye. You know, you might die too. That's fine. <laughs> Nobody's gonna cry over my grave. Okay, Douglas. Whatever. Nothing odd about the TV or the VCR. Dad's bookshelf. There's nothing unusual about it. I'll be back, Dad. I promise I'll come home soon. I don't know this would be a shot and nothing to interact with. This is a cloud, nothing to do here. Nothing to do in the kitchen, I'm not hungry at all. Who could eat something in a situation like this? I don't know. Okay, nothing to do in the kitchen. Dad, why did you have to die? You told me you were the strongest man in the world. Liar. Just a regular TV, there's nothing different about it. There's no need to go back on the roof, that monster is dead now. Besides, Douglas is waiting outside. Uh, there are books on the table. Just as you, his usual detective novels, or just his usual detective novels. My dad loved them. Uh, I think you can go into Heather's room. I don't remember exactly when, but I think I got this doll at a garage sale. I still like it, but there's nothing I can do with it right now. I'm exhausted, but I don't think I can sleep now. Besides, Douglas should be waiting for me outside. I got a stun gun. I got a stun gun battery. I got a stun gun battery. This is my dresser. I don't need to change. I'll leave it alone. What about these shots with the bathrooms? Like, there's nothing I can do in here. Unless you just wanted to look at Heather. Strafe, 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 strafe. Okay, but we got a stun gun. Let's let me look at it. Uh, stun gun. High voltage to zap the bad guys. It has to touch them though, so it's very short range. My worry wart dad gave this to me just in case. I don't usually carry it with me because it's bulky and gets in the way. And uh, stun gun battery. A battery for a stun gun. As I've said before, the melee melee combat in this game is kind of ass, so. I uh, probably won't use that, but no, I can't reach anybody, not the police or the church. Okay, where's that save point? All right, I will definitely be calling it there. Um, I don't know how long we were playing. How long were we playing? Oh, almost 30 minutes. Holy crap. Okay. Um, yeah, so in this part, we... Uh, I don't remember what, what part what happened in this part or what happened in the last part. But we got out of um, the fucking... Like, constru not construction site, but like the businesses, that building. We uh, got rid of the monster. Uh, we made it home. Unfortunately, our father's dead, um, but we fought, we avenged him by killing the monster that um, Claudio ordered to kill him. And now Douglas is here and he's going to take us to Silent Hill where we will eventually, I'm assuming, have our showdown with Claudia. Um, so in the next part, we will go out back and meet Douglas and he'll take us there and we'll see what happens from there. Um, as always, if you're watching, uh, I hope you did enjoy, and until the next time, I hope you all have a good day.
Love y'all. Peace. I don't I don't know what I'm doing with my hands. So.